Well, howdy folks, it's Vern, and welcome back to RimWorld, where today looks like we're getting kicked off with a raid from a bunch of pirates. I said a bunch, but I only see the one. In between episodes, uh, oh, I take that back, this is over here in our little outpost. Well, that makes a little bit of sense. Let's jump back over here real quick, though, because in between episodes, I was able to tame up one of the panda. There she is. But the other one looks like it might get off the map before I'm able to get him tamed up. Happy Jack's got one last try in him before he... No. Didn't make it. Alright, so back over here to our little outpost. That was something else the little outpost mod could do, is these folks can be raided as well. Which is why I gave them the guns I did last episode before sending them out here. Now let's see if they're actually able to uh, do anything with these. They should be alright. It's one naked pirate against two guys with shotguns. Although, apparently they don't have any shooting skill we're talking about. Oh! And there we go. We won the battle. So yeah, that's how that works, apparently. It's good to know. Anyway, so... Back here at the main base. Today, my goal is to knock out quite a bit of research because we're on what episode 12 at this point I believe and we still don't have any actual pond morpher research done the only thing we've done with pond morpher so far is have three folk or four folks that started with mutations well let's see if we can't get that changed today plus having armor would probably be a good thing if you ask skunk and happy jack at the moment in case you're wondering about Skunk, just before I started recording while I was trying to tidy things up, we got attacked by a bunch of manhunting boom rats. So, that's nothing major. It's just... She got a few bites and nicks and whatnot. Let's see, so who all do we have currently set to research? We've got Cass and Shorty. Well, Cass is going to be busy cooking all the time. Do we have anybody else who's decent? Uh, skunk, what are you doing mostly? Harvesting and growing? Eh, we'll bump you up too. Although I might want to give them a little bit more light in there. It's kind of dark. I suppose it's as bright as it is anywhere else. Almost got our chi- Oh, I take that back. We do have our chicken pen done. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these plants. I need... Uh, animal flap. And we'll just throw a cloth one up here. As well as... Yeah, we'll put our main door here. Well, let's put it there. That way it's a little bit easier to get to. Have them work on that. Do we have enough? Yeah, we've got enough marble. I think I'm going to go ahead and marble tile over all the bathrooms too. Alright, so our first research of the day is done. Well, I got our drug production. Ooh. Devil Strand would be nice to have, because we can make dusters out of that that's supposedly really good defense and insulation value and whatnot. Also, I've gone ahead and made another area over here, just called it Freedom, because I noticed we have a couple more pangolins that are now large enough that we can oh we got both of our carrier dryads out working for us but we can toss these guys over here and release them to the wild apparently you have to click it each time and off they go that way they don't get trapped inside the walls like was happening last time and they'll be able to get off the map fairly quickly also i noticed that whenever we release pangolin 12 we also released a female at the same time. I don't know where she went. She might have left the map, but before she did, she had a couple little ones. So we're just going to go ahead and tame these folks up again. That way we can release them properly. And, of course, raise the little ones. It's a little dangerous for the babies to be out there alone like that. We have a ritual soon. Oh, do we have... Ah, yes, we still haven't converted Alex or Rainford yet. Speaking of, six days on that. Hey, Yudo. 
Yeah, you've still got a little bit of time. Okay, well, let's see if we can't knock out this Devil Strand real quick. Well, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of trouble on our hands. A man-hunting pack of ten Yorkshire Terriers. Normally I wouldn't be super concerned about this, but our guys can't hit the broadside of a barn with their guns half this time. So I think what we're going to do is we're just going to pull one of these. I'll let Mooney finish eating. Schedule everyone to stay inside the compound so no one actually goes out there. And we'll just wait them out. Hey, Mooney. Come here. I want you to come close this door for me real quick. Thank you. Our little bathroom tiles are going down quite nicely. Pretty quickly as well. Between Connor and Mooney both. And where is Jack taking these critters to? Okay. He's supposed to be moving them up here into the chicken pen and getting the horse and goat out. They finished the uh, sign when I wasn't paying attention. So they moved half the animals over there to try to lessen the load on this. But I've got a nutrition of 141. It's just fine over here. Hopefully Jack will start moving these chickens over where they're supposed to go and the goats as well. Oh, I know what happened. I haven't expanded out the compound zone to include this area yet. I should get him moving the chickens now. And the goats and horse. Yep, there he goes. Alright, well, we'll just let this happen for a little while and keep everybody inside and safe. Hopefully we don't have a traitor come through that gets mauled by a bunch of yipping dogs. Oh no, our carrier dryad decided to go outside the compound. I wasn't even thinking about those guys. Okay, well... Looks like we're gonna have to go after these dogs anyway. This is not gonna turn out well. Although he's pretty much tanking these hits pretty well. Never mind. Jack, go pick up that dead dog and get it out of the way, please. All right, well, that could have been a lot worse. Just got a few injuries here. Someone going to rescue? Doing hauling? Yeah, oh, let's. Oh, Cass is already on the rescue. Shorty? Oh, food poisoning. That's why you're being so slow. Oh, okay. Let's just go ahead and finish off these little things. Uh-oh. We were a bit too slow. Hey, Alex, go. Oh, you got right. You're not capable of violent. Go ahead and finish it off. We don't have to worry about that happening again. We got our egg boxes put in, but I didn't put any sleeping spots for the actual chickens inside here. You would think they'd just sleep on the eggs, but apparently not. And we'll just do it that way. I've got it set up to keep 10 chickens, so I'll put down 10 sleeping beds and whatnot. Also, I've got it set to auto-cut all these trees out of here. Also have them haul those. A oh, bulk goods trader. Nice. Looks like we sold off, or we're going to buy 39 of their components. All we did was we sold off some drugs and some excess leather. So we could use the components. We were down to five at the time. Let's go ahead and have those... Picked up and brought inside pretty quick. Also, we need to get somebody on the cleaning up because somebody was bleeding after the dogs. Oh, the carrier dryad. Speaking of, where is that one? Oh, he's healing up down here. He'll be fine. And looks like we've got another raid. The Shakers are here. They're attacking immediately. 
Oh, back at our outpost once more. Looks like these guys aren't ever going to actually be able to pack up. Oh, but this rain is going to make it... Well, never mind. The rain's not going to make it all that difficult after all, apparently. That would be something nice for the mod to give us kind of an end screen instead of just drastically shooting us straight back to the map page. But that's the way it works now. Let's go ahead and look at it anyway. How long do we have? Oh, I guess when it was attacked, they stopped packing. Well, let's see if we can survive for three and a half out or three and a half days without hitting another one. Okay, there we go. We've got our Devil Strand. So now what? Let's uh, re-roll here. Batteries? Eh, we're pretty good on that. Let's... Fire suppression seems like a good idea. Let's go ahead and get that one researched then, I suppose. Alright, so there's our fire suppression done. Let's see what we get this time. Hydroponics? Ah, we could finally get beekeeping started. Go ahead and do that. So, what I did in the meantime is I went ahead and added a few sprinklers out here to the farm. That way we produce a little bit better because after winter this starts looking a little bare in here. I did also switch over our cotton for some devil strands, so hopefully we'll get that done before winter gets here, but I'm not super hopeful on that one, unfortunately. I've also started upgrading everyone to marble toilets inside their bathrooms for a little bit of luxury. We did, we were able to tame up one of those little pangolins. I think there's just the one left out there. And then... Oh, okay. Sure, let's tame that one up too. That's weird. Anyway. So let's see about this fire suppression stuff. I've never actually used it. Fire sprinkler. Triggered by fire or high temperature, douses flames with a spray of water. How large? Oh. And I bet the wall is going to prevent it from... Hmm. You know what? For now, I think we're going to focus on having these... Seeing as they're a bit expensive, too, when it comes to components. Having them here in our recreation area for the most part. The bedrooms are super easy to rebuild, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll probably put them up in here as well, but as of right now, there's nothing really to worry about burning down, so I'm not going to worry about... Ah! Probably be a good idea to put one here in our temple as well. I'm going to have to run water to those, I'm assuming. Nope, I don't want the electric pipe. I want the water pipe. Yeah, it looks like it. So should just be able to do some like this to cover those. I'm gonna have to bring it all the way over to get to that. So let's put it underneath the wall here. There. I need to run it around the edge of the walls anyway, just so that I have redundancy, but for now, that ought to work. As Connor and Mooney get knock that out pretty quickly, that'll hopefully prevent us from having any fires in this area. Let me just double check that the sprinklers, yeah, I've got plenty of overlap, so that should be plenty to keep all this going. And once we get these bee houses going, I'll pop a few of those over here as well. That'll keep help the plants grow a little bit faster also. Oh, looks like our caravan is finally packed up. So let's go ahead and have them create an outpost and see what we get if we put them for a... Oh! Oh. I'd like to get one of these at some point, but I don't want to give up anybody with good intellectual right now. Let's see what happens if we create a scavenging outpost. We'll produce some items. Okay. No idea what those would be. Okay, well, I guess it's just random things. If I'm not mistaken, there's a spot under miscellaneous where... Outpost delivery, yep. Oh, I already put one down. Never mind. So, well, we'll see what happens in about a year, I suppose. Alright, so there's our beekeeping. So what do we have next? 
Oh, we can get into Rematomics. I can't pass that up. That has its own separate research system. So once we get that part researched, we can jump in and build a Rematomics research bench, which allows us to do a lot more with power and some rather advanced defenses, which I think wouldn't be the worst idea for our colony. Also going ahead and adding a shower and a bath in each of the bathrooms as well, since we have a decent amount of marble stockpiled. Eventually I will take and put marble paths around to make it faster for them to walk around in here. But I thought we'd get the basic setup first. And I like for folks to have a nice bathroom. And our sprinkler system is still working good. I did throw down a high-tech research bench if someone would just move short. Shorty, can you move your own chair? No. Okay. Well, the chair will get moved at some point. But I do believe... Almost time. Eh, still got a little bit of time. But we were able to get Rainford converted over, so the only person we have left is Alex, who currently is completely happy with their ideology. And it doesn't really affect too much, except that she gets a minus two because... Oh, sorry. He gets a minus two because of the lead by someone of a different ideology. But that's something we can live with for now. Well, let's knock out a quick conversion ritual real quick on Alex. Hopefully we can get them pretty close to joining us after this. Also, we had a shaman merchant come through. I, I traded off a few of the horses and some stuff for some silver. Because we are getting a little crowded out here in the pasture. Also need to do something about the chem fuel sooner rather than later. Let's see, how do we go? All right. Well, Yudo, since you didn't fully commit there, let's do a conversion. 58 is not terrible. It was effective. I also went through and uh, renamed a few of the horses that I plan to keep. So, just decided to go with a little bit of a theme. Named the first the male Apollo and then his four lovers, which I'm not even going to try to pronounce their names. I'm not going to lie, I had to look up how to spell half of them. And I actually only remembered three of them. I didn't remember the fourth one. But I like to go for themes like that sometimes. Hopefully soon we'll have everything finished building here. And Shorty's just working away on our high-tech research table here. I went ahead and deconstructed the simple one since Skunk wasn't really helping her out anyway. So that'll give us room to put in the... Robotomics research bench as well as I got us a silver drugs lab here, but we can't really make anything with joints right now, so not super worried about that. Hopefully, though, we'll unlock medicine production because we only have five actual medicine, but we're pretty good on herbal. Shouldn't have to worry about that for quite a while. I am slightly concerned about our food situation, though. We keep running out of vegetables rather concerningly quickly. And you see how much we have stored currently. And it's September. So winter will be coming before too long. So really need to figure something out with this. No, well, that's not good. Our outpost is being raided again. But this time it's Mooney and Happy Jack's kin folks. Now they're not going to be happy about what's about to happen. Now let's take a look at our New little outpost here. Oh. Draft both of you up. What are you, what are you doing? Hey, there you go. Oh! They got way too close. Oh no! Lewis, fight back! Run, Lewis! There you go. Alright, let's undraft you. Oh, since this one's not actually killed, I wonder. Lewis, go over there. Jackson, undraft. Let's see, can we put down a sleeping spot in here? For prisoners. And then capture. 
wonder how this works. Oh, Lewis. Oh, okay. So that's how that works. It just finishes the fight. Interesting. I wonder if they'll be there next time we have another fight opportunity. What are we running low on here? Oh, we need to put some water in the passive coolers. I really got to do something about this because it's a little dangerous with this sitting out here like this. Okay, here we go. We've got our room atomics researched. Let's go ahead and kick off. Well, let's do a reroll. Anything good? I guess we can unlock plate armor. It's not the greatest, but it'll help out a little bit. But while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and get us a bee workshop. Put down. Oh, we have a mad deer. I'm not super worried about just a single deer. Let's cancel that. I'll set that up here in a second. But what I wanted to mention was here under our rim atomics, we now have a rim atomics research bench, which you can put right there, except we have no steel. That could be a slight issue with this. And I'm not seeing any more on the map. I guess we could do a little mining through here, see what we find. Let's just go ahead and order a strip mine like that, right there. So who do we have on mining? Mooney and Yudo. Okay, so we'll let them go and do that. As soon as we have this research table built here, what you can do is you go in here and you have a list of research you can choose from that you purchase with silver to unlock the research, and then each research has several phases that you have to go through. So that'll be fun to get into. Hopefully we'll run into some steel in here. I already see that there's copper and tin. So that'd be something else if we could get into the Rimforge mod as well. Start hitting some of that in here so we can make like bronze and stuff to make better weapons. Our little chicken coop is going pretty well. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, the deer has struck. Go ahead and switch over to your big bladed thing. There you go. Let's go ahead and take her and add her to the food stockpile as well. While Skunk goes once again to lay down and rest. Do we have another doctor or is Cass still the main doctor? Hey Rainford, what are you doing? Why don't you come over here and tend to Skunk? Someone else can haul the deer for now. We'll just see what we come across in here and hopefully get that knocked out soon. I do want to go through, though, since we can, throw down a few bee houses. What? I'll just throw one down. Kind of something like that. Although, I think I'd need to move this one over some. I'm not super worried about the strawberries. They're just kind of extra down there on the bottom. So we'll throw that in there, and then I'll work on getting the bees actually set up and put in these things so they're actually working. Okay, so we got our beehives put up, and when I select all of them, yeah, there's a little bit down here and one little thing of heal root that aren't in the effect. But that's alright. So I got our research thing, which honestly, I don't really use this too often whenever I mess around with bees. But this we will, because we want to extract from any comb do forever. That way we can get our honey and other things, because you can breed these bees together to where they produce like neutroamine and food and all sorts of fun stuff. Come over here. We can extract from temperate hive and mild hive. We'll tell it to do forever. We also need somewhere to store the bees fairly close over here. I would like something climate controlled, so you know what? We'll just put a little bee shed over here. Wooden door leading into it. And I'm pretty sure we have actual bee storage. We'll put a couple of these in here. Because we will get plenty of bees once we get to the crossbreeding and everything like that. Right now we just have the basic bee houses 
we can get honey from the honeycombs and they'll increase the rate of crop growth around them. Who needs to knock that out real quick? Let's go ahead and see who would be our best beekeeper. Oh, it looks like Cass. You know what, Shorty? Let's have you do that. I know I wanted you mostly on research, but I'd like to get these started too. Transport pod crash. Alright, Nina. Hey, Cass, come here. Come and capture Nina. I don't know if we're actually going to try to keep her or not, but we will at least try to keep her alive. Actually, you know what? Let's uh, draft up and tend, because I don't know if she'll make it all the way back to the prison from there. Let's check her bio out. What we got here? A fighter, basically. Lazy jogger. Jogger's nice, but lazy. And all she really can do is fight and a little bit of construction. And we'll capture her, use her as a social trainer, and then release her. Alright, so... Oh, looks like we've already started on this. So we've got our first honeycomb out. Which they'll throw into the centrifuge, giving us some honey, which we could use to preserve foods, or just add them to the meals. Which is probably what I'll end up doing. We also get beeswax doing that. Which can be used to make rather nice looking furniture and whatnot. But which one was that? That was ah, our temperate queen. So we can go over here. Actually, let's do it to the corn because that's kind of more important. Insert a temperate queen. Alex, let's put you on beekeeping as well. I know skill's rather low, but it'll at least help you train up a little bit and get our bees going overnight when she doesn't have a whole lot of, or he doesn't have a whole lot else to do. Especially since our carrier dryads aren't bringing in our stuff any as fast as they used to. Oh. Oh. That's a bit of an issue. Well, that was odd. We had a bit of a crash there for some reason. Right as I noticed that our water's a little empty here. Well, I'm going to try to go in between episodes and catch us back up to where I was. It looks like we haven't lost a whole lot of progress. We just lost that, and it looks like our beekeeping... Yeah, I don't have Alex set for that anymore. Anyway, I'll try to catch up for whatever we lost. I'll go back through and see. It doesn't look like a whole lot, like I was saying. And also try to figure out what's going on with our water. I know what's going on with our water. I'm using way too much of it for the sprinklers. So I don't know if I need some more pumps or a new well or what. But I'll deal with that in between episodes. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. And until next time. All right. Thanks again for watching, folks. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, go ahead and hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. Also, any comments, suggestions, critiques, anything are welcome in the comment section below. Until next time.